Some people in Excelsior Springs are still cleaning up from Friday's flooding that left most of the town underwater. KCTV 5's Betsy Webster joins us live near the Fishing River. And Betsy, we saw a few closed bridges there on Friday. Are they open yet? Well, this one I'm standing at over the Fishing River is still closed. You can see some of the barriers behind me on one side and then in front of me here you can see these concrete barriers that have been set up. That is even though the water level has receded. And you know, this is a town where flooding is, well, it's prone to flooding. But this time for some of the homeowners it was kind of a one-two punch. Sabrina Thornton was nailing a tarp to her roof Monday evening. Limbs loosened in a windstorm two weeks ago, then came crashing down in the heavy rain. I stay in this house because my parents hand built it, so I've been here like my entire life. This was her dining room ceiling Friday, and this is the subsequent mess she spent the weekend cleaning up. On Friday, she watched as cars by the historic Elms Hotel came close to washing away. She remembers what's known as the Great Flood of 1993. Quoting a FEMA report, residents were evacuated, streets were closed, homes were destroyed, cars, furniture, appliances, all were swept away. Every public building was flooded. FEMA funds helped the city buy 61 homes to raise them and turn them into green space. Thornton said then the water rose to the first step of her house. This time it rose two steps higher, coming through her garage door into the basement. I haven't had any water like this since the flood of 93 and it came right up to the wall. It didn't actually enter the basement. This bridge over the fishing river still has debris from when the river rushed over it Friday. The luxury Elms Hotel, a big draw for the city, is on the other side of the river. The flood damaged their spa and lap pool on the lower level, according to the reception desk manager. The water went down quickly, but Thornton knows it's bound to happen again. I love Excelsior, but I would also recommend not living so close to the fishing river downtown. Maybe stay away uptown a little bit. It's got nice trees, nice scenery, but definitely not worth having your house flooded. Now, the reception desk manager at the Elms said the spa would be back up and running in the next couple of weeks, but the indoor lap pool, she said that was going to take several months to get back. Reporting live in Excelsior Springs, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, lots of cleanup work there. Thank you, Betsy.